So guys, I'm out at my strawberry beds this evening and I am trying to get a hold of an issue before it becomes an issue. Last year, I had a pretty big slug problem in my strawberry beds. Now they weren't big slugs, they were these itty bitty bitty slugs. But so many of my strawberries I'd had to flick slugs out or they were too far gone with slug damage and I didn't get to harvest them. So I'm doing something that I've never done before and it is the beer trap method to attract slugs away from your produce basically and supposedly they like a good beer. I don't know if the type of beer is specific but we're using Guinness today. I had no idea that people, this, well, first off, this has a name, it's called a church key. Didn't know that till recently. And I didn't know that there was any other way to open mason jar lids except this. And there was a discussion the other day on a Facebook forum, how do you guys open canning jars? This is what I use. So I had out in the garden already just some old mayonnaise jars that I was protecting my marigolds from the polar vortex, which did not make it. So I'm just repurposing them and I'm just pouring a little bit of beer in each one. And then I'm just gonna set it in a place in the strawberry bed that doesn't have a plant. Just like that. Look at all these blossoms though, guys. They're amazing. Just loaded. Ooh, lots of strawberries. So I'm gonna put two in each bed. Um, so let me wrap that up and you guys can come along with me. I don't know if there's a trick to how much to put in each one. Now we'll move down to the back bed and do that one. If you missed my earlier video this spring on how I maintain my strawberry beds every year, I'll link it right here and put it in the description. Um, I don't know, again, if it's like the only way to maintain your strawberry beds every spring, but it certainly works for me. And there's one. And somebody also asked, what variety do I grow? I'm in Michigan, Southeast Michigan, and I grow a June-bearing all-star variety. And they do put off runners, if that makes any difference to you. Okay, so one beer bottle made four slug traps. So guys, stay tuned to my gardening videos. I'll be out here, gosh, I'm out here every day. Um, and as soon as I see that they're working or in garden update videos, I'll, we'll just check them together and see if we actually trap any slugs. I hope that they work because that was really kind of creepy having to deal with baby slugs in your strawberries last year. So if you guys have any other tips on how to keep slugs out of your strawberries, leave them in the comments below. Well, it's the next day. It's been raining. Oh, look at him right there. Why don't you go in? <laughs> they must definitely be attracted to it. Yep, there's a dead one in here too. I can't find them now, but there was one floating in there. Definitely seems to work.